Okay, let's uh, change this to... <laughs> it's, it's there! Oh, you bet! <laughs> Copy. <laughs> oh yes longest name on steam maybe not the longest but all right let's go options can i get it full screen maybe i have it full screen maybe get it there Where's the, 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 there we go, turn it on, there it is, wow, that looks so fucking, what, is it in 720? Uh, where, is it just escape? I guess, okay, sure. Yep. Yeah, there's no, there's no resolution options. RPG Maker game. All right, let's do this. Gobby McGobblenuts. Hi there. Welcome to the Questionably Quirky Quiz Show. I'm your host, Gobby McGobblenuts. For those of you who are new here, allow me to explain what we have in store for you. You see, I'm going to ask you a series of questions that range from simple to absolutely freaky deaky ridiculous. In turn, you're going to provide me a series of answers. Based on quality of your answers, you will be rewarded points. You may be wondering, how many points? Well, that depends on which answer you chose. Choose. Well, the answers available all have varying amounts of points assigned to them. Your, if your answer is among the most commonly chosen from those surveyed on the questions beforehand, then you will be awarded less points than if you picked an uncommon or rare answer. Oh, good. Thank you. However, while a high number of points may mean that you're great at picking uncommon answers and an excellent judge of what you perceive for the rest of the world to be, it does not guarantee you a solid win. Uh, each episode of Triple Q will result in a set of winners determined by how many players have a point total that matches old Granny Grape Shaft's point total. <laughs> old Granny Grape Shaft. Oh, my point total. What was it again? Oh, it was... Whoa, now! Hang on there, Granny! Is this supposed to be Necro... Necro Goblicon? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Either. <laughs> One second, hold on. I just had to take care of some streaming bullshit. Okay. Hang on, Granny! We won't reveal your point total until the beginning of the next episode. If we told everyone your points now, it would be supremely easy to cheat the system, and that wouldn't be very fun now, would it? Oh, yes. I suppose that does make sense. So, with that being said, we're going to ask you a series of questions, and you're going to answer them to see your point total. Once you have your point total, all you have to do is leave it in the comment section for us, and your, your total matches old Granny Grape Shot's total. Your name will be selected and you'll be announced as the winner at the start of our next episode. If you're joining us late and winners have already been declared, fear not. For at the end of every season, we will be doing a grand finale episode where we go through and pick one final round of bonus winners to be included in the finale. On top of that, we will also be including all participants, whether you win or lose, and the credits of future titles simply as a token of our appreciation for your participation in this fun little event. And even greater than that... We also have something really special in store for participants that won't be announcing just yet, so stay tuned. As the episode progresses, sounds simple, right? This isn't too complicated, and it's a chance to be a part of history. To be a part of something new, fresh, unique, and amazing. In a world where so many people are excluded, QQQ attempts 
to bring everyone together for laughs, good times, and to see how quirkalicious we really are. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? The first round of questions will be rather simple and straightforward. Don't think too hard on them, just pick the answer that resonates best with you. Most important part of this process is just to be honest with your selections. Here we go. All right, witty or charming? Hold on, I, can, I think you can do this with a controller. Yep, I can, okay. Uh, I would say witty. One point awarded for common answer, Ah, oh, damn it. Soda or coffee? Coffee. Common answer, I figured. Love or hate? Love. Absolutely. Deep fry or bake? No air fry. We'll go with bake. Common answer. Broken or whole? Hmm. I'm gonna go with whole. Hey, uncommon answer, hooray. Painting or photo? Well, you know what I'd say. Look at this photo right Oh, common answer? Oh, I thought people would say painting. I'm actually, I'm answering these honestly. Rap or metal? That's close. Gotta go with metal. Oh, I'm coming answer. Guitar or drums? I'm gonna go with guitar on this one. Okay. Bro uh, boneless wings or bone in? Oh, bone in, dude. What? More people said boneless? Fuck you! Those aren't wings! Those are chunks of meat! Banana split or hot fudge sundae? Oh, hot fudge. I figured that'd be the common answer, because not everybody likes bananas. Canadian bacon or turkey bacon? Jesus Christ! What? You fucking, what is this turkey bacon horse shit? I would hope that's a common answer. Stuff crust or deep dish? Oh, deep dish. Well, no, stuff crust is pretty good. Hmm. The fuck is Canadian bacon? It's the only time I've ever heard it called Canadian bacon instead of just straight up fried ham is on a pizza. That's all it is. It's little discs of fried ham. All right, deep dish. Common answer, okay. Good sportsman or sore loser? <sighs> sore loser, dude. Puzzles or riddles? Ooh, I like both. But I gotta go with puzzles. Puzzles are more tactile. Really, more people chose riddles. Mm, interesting. Ice cold water or room temperature water? Oh, Scott! <laughs> Scott. I give him a cold glass of water, like or, or a bottle of water from the fridge. Don't you have any room temperature? I'm ice cold. Ice cold! Drunk text parent or drunk text an ex? Uh, are you asking which one I would rather do? Rather drug text my parents. I would not like to drug test text my ex. Is it rather or which one I'm more likely to do? You know, in both cases, probably my parents. I don't talk to any of my exes anymore. My last ex was like 13 years ago now, so she's already moved on, had a kid, I think, got married. Cremation or burial? You know, I used to be a cremation guy. I used to be a cremation guy. 
Um, but Walt Whitman, the smallest sprout shows there really is no death. I want to feed the plants and the trees and the animals and all that shit, so burial. To, I, I would prefer that, but to make it easy on my family, cremation is, is definitely easier. Because unless you can find a place that you can just bury people who want to be buried without a coffin and stuff. Like, if you could just throw my body in the ground, I don't want a coffin. If you could just put me in, like, a, a degradable burlap sack or something and then just toss me in the dirt, that's what I would prefer. Colorado permits compost burial. Oh! Well, that's nice. Just throw me in the trash! Lucky number seven or lucky number 13? I have a good reason for my luck. It's, it, uh, 13's been my lucky number for almost all of my life and I have a good reason for it. In kindergarten, that was my coat hook number. We that we are all assigned, like this is your coat hook number. This is where you hang your hook. Number thirteen. Movie or book? The fuck is a book? Book? How do you say book? I don't know how to say that. Does it rhyme with spook? Movie. Do the laundry or do the dishes? Laundry. No question. Cookies or brownies? Oh, no, I can't. This is, I, no, don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Gotta be cookies. Cookies. I'm not always in the mood for chocolate, but I am always in the mood for cookies. I know you can make chocolateless brownies, but why the fuck would you? Comedy show or dance club? Oh, man. Hmm, which do I... Okay. So more often, both of them are fine, but more often, I would choose a dance club over a comedy show. But either is good for me. I'm good for either one. Uh, Bank robbery or Grand Theft Auto? Grand Theft Auto, man. Absolutely, just peel out. Hell yeah, dude. And also, uh, honestly, the thing that came to mind when I was answering that question was, who am I hurting the most? And the bank has insurance, yeah, but the people inside the bank, in order to rob a bank, you're probably gonna have to do it during daylight hours, and you're gonna scare a lot of people. You might have to, like, get physical I'll boost a car that's on the street nobody actually gets scared or hurt and if you have insurance then reimburse right there you're fine most people have car insurance right especially if you steal a nice car that car is gonna be fully insured like if you steal a car that's like over forty thousand dollars it's gonna be fully insured wasabi or sriracha Sweet. Is that how you spell Sr Is it S R? Sriracha? Hmm. I did not. Today I learned. Today I learned. It, it reminds me of when I learned prerogative. It's not per, P E R. It's P R E R. Prerogative. Fucking Bobby Brown, man. He, he steered me wrong. Uh, 
Uh, wasabi or sriracha? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with wasabi. I don't really care for sriracha taste. But I do like wasabi in small doses with, with sushi. Donate a kidney or donate bone marrow? Well, I pollute my body a lot, so I think I'm going to need both kidneys. And I don't think anybody was going to want them. So I'll give some bone marrow. I'll take the pain if I can still pollute my body later. <laughs> Uh, crack your knuckles or crack your back? Knuckles. Crack my knuckles all day. You want to get conveyor sushi sometime? I love conveyor sushi. I had some in Japan, in Tokyo. I love it, man. I don't have to look at the menu. I just look at the thing and I'm going, yep, I like that. Overcooked or undercooked? Oh, undercooked. If I had a choice... I undercook my cookies, and now we're we're not talking like. Listen, sure, meat. You don't want to undercook your meat. I get that, but that's the one thing you don't want to undercook. Everything else is fine undercooked. I don't mind it at all. I love my cookies. Like I bake my cookies for at least five minutes less than it says, so they come out and they're like. Almost cookie dough, just barely staying together. Mm, love it. Fruit smoothie or milkshake? Fuck you. If you said smoothie, you get out of my life. Milkshake. Rookie or expert? That's, that's ambiguous at best. What the fuck? I guess... Like, is it what I pick when I'm playing a video game, or would I consider myself an expert or a rookie at anything? I don't know. I'm gonna say expert. Cause that's what I, I usually try and pick the hard setting on video games. Chocolate or peanut butter? It's a close one, man. It's real close, but I gotta go with chocolate. Oh, wow. Chocolate? Peanut butter beat out chocolate? Are there only like three people taking this quiz? Peanuts or almonds? Oh, peanuts. I know it's that's going to be common, but peanuts taste better than almonds to me. Shrimp or crab? It's it's no question for me. It's all it's shrimp. Crab and lobster, they taste like the ocean. Crab. More people say crab. Mm. Lobster or steak? Well, <laughs> I just said steak. What? More people pick lobster over steak? They're the bottom. They feed on the bottom of the ocean. They're fucking garbage animals. Uh, Botox or facelift? Oh. Well, Botox goes away. A facelift, semi-permanent, I'd imagine. Really? More people said facelift. Hmm. Yeah, lobster used to be poor people food. It's like if, if someone was like, uh, <laughs> you know those sucker fish that every all the fishermen throw back? If some suddenly people were like, that's the delicacy now. Like, it eats garbage off the bottom of the ocean or bottom of the lake. Grumpy or moody? Honey? <laughs> Am I grumpy or moody? You're not listening. I'm grumpy. I'm definitely grumpy. Easy password or hard password? I'll do a hard password. 
Peas or carrots? Man, fuck peas. I was just saying that last night. Like, we were watching uh, Frailty. We watched that, Scott. We watched Frailty last night. It's a movie from 2001 with Matt McConaughey. It's pretty good. Um, but this kid was like shoveling peas onto his plate. And dad was like, whoa, save some for the rest of us. And the kid was like, I just love peas. And I was like, no one ever said that in the history of humanity. No one's ever said, I love peas. Peas are good. They're never loved. They're okay. They're a nice addition. Carrots. This. Okay. Okay. I don't get it. Bark or bite? What's the bite? Oh, common answer. Old school or new school? Old school. Ordinary or extraordinary? Extraordinary, of course. Spirit animal or horoscope sign? Ah, uh, fuck. I'll go with horoscope. Both, both are stupid. Camping or hiking? Oh, camping. Hiking is just stupid exercise you put on yourself for no reason. I'll go camping. Uh, listen to music or listen to podcasts? That's a tough one, man. I like both. Depends on, depends on where I am. Like on a long trip, I love a good podcast. If I'm just driving, music... I'll go music. Music's probably more, the more honest answer. Read a book or listen to music? Listen to music. Yeah. Weekend or weekday? I don't really have those anymore. None of those matter to me anymore. <laughs> Weekend, let's go, sure. Villain or hero? You know, I, 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 you would say villain. Hmm. But my contrarian, like my contrary, like attitude, just want to say hero because I know it's the right answer. Whatever. What? Villain? Okay. Hot tea or iced tea? You know, I've had a decent cup of hot tea, but iced tea is always so bleh. Just bleh to me. Thank you, Crispy. Looking forward to four solid days of any Sunday. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Vampires or werewolves? Well, look at me. Werewolves. Oh, wow. More people said werewolves than vampires. All right. Makeup or no makeup? I mean, I don't ever put on makeup unless Katie puts it on me, so no makeup. Well, maybe doing Indie Week. I missed Indie Sunday enough times. And if I miss four of them over however much time, it doesn't matter how much time. But I, I check off like one miss, two miss. So I missed four a la Indie Week. Uh, filter or no filter? Uh, that's... I, I, it could be interpreted however, but I'm guessing my mouth. No filter. All right, then. All right then, I think that about does it for this round. You're well on your way to a decent score. Something tells me you're one smart cookie, but I could be wrong. Perhaps you're dumber than a bag of nipples and you're just getting lucky. The next round will separate the winners from the losers. Each chance you're provided is worth extra points, so make sure you take your time with these ones. I hope you're ready because here we go. Would you, okay. Would you rather trip and fall every time you sneezed 
or sneeze every time you use your left hand. Well, I don't want to fall down. I'll just use my left hand less. Hey, four points. Sweet. Uh, would you rather be deaf or mute? We've had this question, or not in this game, but we've asked this question in chat a time or two. I mean, if you're deaf, it affects your ability to speak. So, I mean, like, it's a double whammy. If you're mute, at least you can still hear everything. Would you rather have to tailor all of your own clothes or have to pay five times the full price for all of your clothes? Well, I mean... What's, uh, like, instead of paying, uh, $2 for my, um, uh, <laughs> thrift store t-shirt, I'd have to pay 10 I'll go five times. You bet. Mute can't speak has no idea of sound. No, mute just means you can't speak. Because you would say a deaf mute, or just deaf, or just mute. I think, unless I'm like, been like assuming that wrong my entire life, I think you can be one or t'other. It doesn't have to be both. But if you're deaf, your speech goes because, I mean, you can't hear yourself, so you forget how to speak. Okay. Uh, would you rather be cheated on repeatedly but never find out or cheat on someone but have to tell them the truth? Uh, oh, man. That's a, that's a rough one. Um, I don't know. I, I never know, man. I never know. Who cares? But never know, then what the fuck do I give a shit? Corrigil, 52 months. Thank you, Corrigil. Uh, would you rather pay for sex or be paid to have sex? Well, I've done one. Uh, haven't done the other. And I'll tell you, it's it's just fine. It's just, just what you think it is. So, pay for sex. Uh, would you rather be invisible to all men on Earth or invisible to all women on Earth? Men. For sure. What? I, I would have bet money that that was the common answer. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I'm not talking about the way, like, you know, that generalized everybody pays for sex kind of a way. I'm talking about, hey, prostitute, I would like sex for money. Are you, are you into that? And the prostitute was like, yes, I'm a prostitute. And I was like, good, here's some money. <laughs> uh, would you rather be only be able to express your sexual desires by using emojis or by only using memes. Ooh. Ooh. Emojis or memes? I gotta go with memes, man. Wow. More people said emojis. Would you rather give up bathing for six months or give up internet and Wi-Fi for... I'm not even going to finish that. I'll give up bathing easily. Easily over giving up my internet. Don't even need to finish that question.
Would you rather smell like a rotten dumpster to everyone around you or have everyone around you always smell like a rotten dumpster to you? Oh. I'll t uh, hey, listen. You know those guys who clean up the shit at the zoo? Eventually, they stop smelling it. It just smells like normal air to them. Everyone else. Absolutely. What the fuck? Some selfish ass people here. Lignoba with the three years and Mick Gobblenuts has pretty much been my experience. Thank you, Lignoba, for the third year of subscriptioning. Whatever, motherfucker! That's right. Alright. Would you rather never have to work again or never have to sleep again? Work can be many things. My job is very fulfilling. It hasn't been, but even when I had an unfulfilling job, it gave me a little bit of purpose, you know? It gave me a little bit of, I don't know, pride, self-worth. And never having to sleep again, yeah, 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 yeah. I get uh, so much time for activities. Would you rather pull five of your teeth out of your own mouth with a pair of pliers or give your own father a rectal exam? Well, I'm assuming they, they are assuming that he's alive, but I'm not squeamish. I'd look up my dad's butt. Absolutely. Uh, would you rather have really bad allergies every second of every day or be allergic to all of your favorite foods? Just find new favorites. Would you rather send a dirty text message or receive a dirty text message? Oh. <laughs> receive. I've tried this. I'm not very good at it. What? More people said they would send it. How many fucking people have played this game? I mean, at least 24 people have played it. All right. At least. Would you rather be able to see into your own future or into everyone else's future except your own? Mostly men for sure. Attack cat. Do you think men would be would choose to be invisible to women? Cuz that was the common answer. Oh, no, 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 not, sorry, sorry, sorry. All women are invisible to that person. I think it was the question. I apologize. I'm, I fucked up the question. Um, or no, was it invisible to women? No, I think I said it right, but I didn't think about perviness. I thought about, like, they would never see me, so they would never have sex with me. And that's, that's, that's the only gender I like having sex with. <laughs> so far. Bye, Scott. Quim King says you got to go bye-bye. All right. Uh, I would rather see, if, I, I don't want to, I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything about my own future. If I, if I knew my own future, that means I did, I wouldn't have a choice. Like I wouldn't have free will. I knew, I'd know what I was going to do before I did it. Fuck that. Would you rather live in a place where the weather is always hot and sunny or cold and rainy? Oh, fuck. Cold and rainy. No question. All right. Well, someone put me in the naughty corner, huh? I guess I'll answer these questions without uh, engaging with you. Thank you, Not That Unique. Good timing on a, on a game where the only sound is the, is the public domain music and me saying the questions and talking about them. Good job, dick. All right, five seconds. 
拜。
All right, there's your five minutes. <laughs> I had to do it. I knew that question. I was like, oh, Scott. Scott's going to mouth off. This is his chance. This is his chance to mouth off. All right, we're going to play this for another nine minutes, and then we'll we'll switch game. We'll take a break and switch games. It's not that great. Uh, that, that bite off a chunk of your tongue or swallow a razor blade. I mean, I like discussing questions like this. I just wish I could have said stuff out loud instead of being fucking timed out. The worst game to be timed out on is a game that you want to discuss. Peter Nord, 73 months, thank you. All right, would you rather be eight feet tall but frail and weak or two foot tall with superhuman strength? Oh. The fucking Hobbit with the Superman Hobbit? Hell yeah, dude. Uncom these uncommon answers are boggling me. Would you rather permanently live in a submarine or permanently live in a hot air balloon? Gotta go with hot air, man. Submarine does have power, though. But submarine... Oh, fuck. That's a tough question. That is a tough question. Gotta go with hot air balloon, man. Gotta go with a balloon. Even though I'm not a big fan, fresh air and sunlight, submarine, you're just, you're just breathing your own farts every day. Uh, see? Sinem, got it. Me and you, they get on the same uh, level there. Would you rather watch others have sex or others watch you during sex? Oh, hey. Come on over, baby. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Uh, would you rather be highly trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat or have expert marksmanship skills? Watch porn or be porn. See, I, I thought Nixon Narwhal, I I assumed that was in person. Like, would I rather, like, stand in a room where people are having sex or be having the sex with other people standing, like, and watching? I, I didn't even think about porn or being on tape. Or tape. No one uses tape anymore. It's all digital. Uh, would you rather be highly trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat or have expert marksmanship skills? Oh, which one are you going to use more? Hand-to-hand. -hand. To be fair, I have never used either. Well, I guess I did when I worked at the bar. I did a little, like, little tiny light bit of bouncing. But I, I've never, I don't shoot my own food. I'm civilized. I have, I have a, a, a rancher do that for me. Would you rather have a foot-shaped head or a head or head-shaped feet? Well, one people are gonna notice all the time, and the other people are only gonna notice if they're, you know, looking at like in person, like really looking down at your feet. I'll just wear long skirts, man. I'd rather be like, oh, what's that dude doing in a skirt than? What the fuck is up with that guy's head feet? How would you walk? Carefully. Very carefully. Uh, would you rather have to always wear a diaper over your clothes or have to wear a very short skirt everywhere you go? Dude, honestly, honestly, I like I'd be diaper guy. People wouldn't know me as diaper guy. I gotta go with diaper guy. I like it. It's like I wouldn't be weird. I wouldn't act any differently than I act right now. It's just I wear a diaper over my clothes because I'm trying to make it a fashion statement or something. And with a short skirt, like. 
There's not a lot of options for like cold weather. Like with a diaper, you just wear over your snow pants or whatever. But like, if you're in the fucking Colorado winter, that's, you're not going outside. Uh, would you rather have to lick the floor of a public bathroom for five minutes or lick the inside of a public toilet bowl for 30 seconds? You ever sat around for five minutes and he had to, like, it was, you had just had to wait and look at the clock for five minutes? That's a fucking long time, dude. But 30 seconds of inside a public toilet bowl? Fuck. This is the toughest question yet. Because you know inside the toilet bowl, you're going to get all the fluids. Poo poo pee pee, blood, uh, vomit. But on the floor, the floor might be clean. Er, cleaner. I'm going floor, man. I'm going floor. No one said you. You can't clean it first. No one said you could. So if you, if, if in your fantasy, I think the, uh, the spirit of the question is unwashed. Obviously. If you could clean it, there'd be no point in asking. Uh, would you rather have your neck kissed or your toes sucked? Ooh. I'd rather have my neck kissed, but a good toe suck, I'd never say no. What the fuck? Now, now I know this shit is fucking rigged, dude. Come on. No way. Uh, would you rather your entire wardrobe consist of only black clothes? It already does, pretty much. Or completely random flamboyant colored clothes? Black goes with everything. Would you rather have to scream your last name every time you enter a room or scream your first name right before you leave a room? <laughs> now that's a good question. That's a great question. Every time you enter a room. The third! The third! <laughs> or every time you leave. Ezekiel! <laughs> yeah, gotta go with the leave. This one... <laughs> entering, that would be fucking hilarious, though. But, yeah. Out! <laughs> would you rather lose your sense of smell or lose your sense of taste? Smell. I gotta go smell on that one. But... They're tied together, right? Smell and taste, you lose one and the other one suffers. It's not like you can, like, it's kind of like uh, hearing in speech, right? All right, would you rather lose your sense of hearing or your sense of sight? Yeah, hearing, gotta go hearing. Fuck off, no way. Would you rather have a nose where your belly button is supposed to be or have a belly button on your forehead? Dude, I'd go... Man, that'd be fun. I'd probably like, check this out. I can really smell your farts, man. It's really close. Yeah. Belly button nose. Would you rather have to ride a bike everywhere you go or walk everywhere you go? Ride a bike? What? Oh. Does that mean like <laughs> to the doctor's office? Like you gotta ride your bike into the doctor's office and you gotta like be on the bike while he like, you know, checks your reflexes and shit. <laughs> Go to the shitter on a bike. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I go. I'll go with walk. I go with walk. Would you rather be the founder and leader of a small colony on another planet, or be the president of any country you choose on planet Earth? I don't want to do either, dude. I don't want to be a leader. But how many times are you going to get an opportunity to be the founder and leader of a, a small colony on another planet? Another planet! Would you rather eat way too much or way too little? Would you rather? Not what do you do. Would you rather? Definitely too little. I would rather do that, but I don't. Would you rather be a famous musician or a famous actor? Oh, that one's easy. I want to be a famous actor. Wow, more people want to be a musician. Okay. Uh, would you rather be able to teleport wherever you wanted to go or control gravity? Seems like an easy answer. Uh, teleport. Really uncommon? I don't. Okay. Would you rather marry the smartest person in the world or marry the... Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't even think about? You know what I didn't even think about? People who are doing this are... Some of them are trying to get the best score. So they're trying to pick the opposite answer of, you know, what common people would say, right? I didn't even think about that. That's why the answer... Okay, it's not rigged. Just people are trying to win. Uh, would you rather marry the smartest person in the world or marry the sexiest person in the world? Uh, good thing I have both. <laughs> Going with smart. Uh, <laughs> would you rather have a million dollars worth of possessions that your friends pick out for you or have $250,000 in cash that you can spend however you like. Well, tell you what. Million dollars worth of possessions. I can tell you from, from being a pawn shop, a pawn broker, once you try to sell something, it's worth about 50% of what the tag was worth. So, net gain. Yeah, 250 cash is like the short, the short game. I, I don't mind playing the long game, but then again, I'm doing all right. 718, that's me. I'm number 718. I'm doing all right. Hey, if you look me up, you can see I'm doing okay. <laughs> uh, would you rather have incredibly thick body hair or have no hair on your body at all? That includes head hair and eyebrows. Uh, I gotta go with thick body hair or else someone might leave me. Uh, would you rather never eat solid food or never drink liquids? Oh, I could go without liquids forever. That'd be great. I'd be totally great with that. Uh... It would have been a blast, yeah, to answer these questions with Katie. Oh shit, is this it? Okay, interesting. Interesting! Quite interesting indeed! Your answers are certainly quick delicious. You're really racking up the points, too! Now, this final section is a critical round, which I won't be playing, because some of these questions will be worth extra bonus points! I hope you're ready to get your quirk on, because you're in for a couple of doozies! Oh, by the way, there's also a landmine question thrown in there. If you manage to hit it, you'll know what I mean. Now, here we go. You gotta do the last one? All right, all right, we'll do the last one. All right, we'll, we'll make these quick though. Do you believe in perfect happiness? No. Do you ever live your life in fear? That's, that's a superlative. Ever. I hate that word ever. Do you ever live your life? Have I, have I ever been afraid? Are you fucking kidding? Yes, of course, everyone's afraid. 
But live your life? Like, that seems like a long one. What? I hate this question. Sure. Uh, do you have a trait that you truly hate about yourself? Truly hate? Nope. I don't like certain things, sure, but truly, truly hate was the words. Nah. Do you feel like there's something truly special about you? <laughs> I mean... No? The whole person? Sure, I'm truly special, but like... I'm not like... I'm not the best or worst at anything. I'm not the ugliest or prettiest. I'm not the smartest or dumbest. Like, is there anything truly special about me? Not really. Do you have a great attachment to a particular possession of yours? Well, a lot of this is just interpreting what you think the words mean. Like, it could mean, you could apply different like interpretations to most of these questions. But in my interpretation of the question, truly special about me? No, I'm not like a gold medalist or anything. Uh, do you have a great attachment to a particular procession of yours? I do indeed. Uh, are you currently happy? Oh yeah. Absolutely. No, uncommon answer. <laughs> I love it. That's an uncommon answer. Most people say no. Uh, do you believe that happiness... Well, most people... I mean, some people are trying to win the game, right? So they're picking the answers, not the honest answers, but the answers. I'm picking the honest answers. Do you believe that happiness is overrated? No, happiness is great. Happiness is fucking wonderful. Have you ever told a lie? Should I lie on this one? Say no. <laughs> Yes, I've told a lie. Three points awarded for common bonus answer. Oh, nice. Is there something that you strongly dislike about your appearance? Yeah, I would say strongly dislike. Truly hate is different. I don't truly hate anything, but strongly dislike, that's a better, better way. I do. Uh... About my, it's honestly, it's 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 my gut. No, no big surprise there. It's my gut. Uh, Soul Slice, thank you for forty-one months. How about this for a bonus? Thank you. Uh, is there a living person that you truly despise? Yep. <laughs> uh, is there a particular per physical trait that you find attractive in others? A particular physical trait that you find attractive in others? She got dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Guys like what? 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 Big move, but, 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 let me sing it again. Uh, is there a particular mental or emotional trait that you find attractive in others? Yeah. Uh, have you ever felt starstruck? Oh, man. That's a tough one. I've never gone like fangirly, but you know, like when I'm, yeah, Adam Savage was a good one. Uh, Adam West, Stan Lee, Kevin Smith. Like, but I'm not, I, I, I think I'm too old. 
to be starstruck. Like, starstruck is for youth, I think. The older you get, the more you realize, like, they're just, you know, they're just people. I'm trying to think if I've ever, like, and by starstruck, it, it's a specific word, starstruck. Like, you're stunned. You're like, oh, I'm too, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know if I've ever felt that around somebody. Like, I know in my youth, like, 25 and lower of age, probably definitely would have been but i still think like if i got to be around like tom waits i would probably be starstruck around him but like or like you know like any of the big huge like seminal names i've met a lot of celebrities but never ones that are like legendary except for stan lee but stan lee's like it's not really intimidating, you know? So. I'm going to say no. Uh, do you admire anything about your best friend? <laughs> yes, of course I do. God damn it. Stanley is super chill, isn't he? Yeah, Stanley, Stanley is super chill, super nice, but he's, he's a man. And you like, he's not creepy, but he's definitely flirty. And I love that. I love that about him. Um, he said, he said, like, oh, hello, young lady. You look very nice. He's like, oh, we're going to go up here. We'll, we'll take my arm. You know, like, cool guy. All right. Do you think your best friend admires anything about you? Yes. I hope. I would assume. I did not meet George Carlin. Nope. Never met George Carlin. Uh, do you ever overuse a particular word or phrase? All the time. Constantly. Zeke doesn't know he's dead. Stan Lee? No, I know he's dead. Uh, have you ever fallen hopelessly in love? Hopelessly, huh? Hopelessly is, is, a, is so bad. Why would I say hope? How about hopefully? Hopefully in love. Like hopelessly. That's a terrible word to use to describe love. Speaking of love. Speaking of love. Who's my lover? Who's my little lovey? Who's my little lovey? Oh, are you coming up? Are you, is that what we're doing? Are you coming up? Yes, yeah, so you're getting... Hold on, hold on. Stay here for a second. Let me just... I gotta keep zooming this... Fucking stupid camera out. Okay. There's some loveys. Oops. There. There's my lovey. This my lovey girl. Yes. Yes, this is my lovey girl. She get her hair cut tomorrow, huh? Yeah. You coming up here? Come on. <laughs> She's trying. Come on up. Jump up. Come on. Up here. <laughs> You're trying. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put my headphones back on. Come on. Up here. Hold on. There we go. Come on. Up here. Up here. Come on. Up. Up. There you go. This is her favorite position. Is having me pinned down. And her arms on my shoulder. So I can't leave. So I cannot move. And now right. And then gentle kisses. Gentle kisses on the mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gentle kisses. Yeah, you're getting she's getting groomed tomorrow. She was supposed to get groomed uh on Monday, but a groomer called in sick, so we had to move it to Friday. Yeah, good puppies. Just good puppies. Alright now. Thank you. That's Lilith. <laughs> I'm, I'm even wearing my Poodle Dad shirt today. Are you doing the skeleton cut? No. No, that's just too much work, man. Uh, yep, yeah, standard, standard Poodle. Standards are big, man. I mean, 
they're not fully grown yet. After after two years, they're fully grown. They slowed down uh, a good amount after the first year. But uh, they're 75 and 80 pounds each. And usually they'll, they'll get near 100. Uh, have you ever fallen hopelessly in love? Hopelessly. I don't like it. I'm going to say no. I'm saying no, not hope. I've fallen hopefully in love. <laughs> I don't like the wording. Uh, can you remember the happiest moment of your life? Well, if it was the happiest moment of my life, I probably don't remember it. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a bit of a drinker. <laughs> yes. Can I remember it? Probably. <laughs> can I tell you about it? I'd have to think about what it would be. But yes, I can remember it. Uh, come sugar with 23 months. Thank you very much. Come sugar. Good to see you. All right, quickly. Would you consider yourself to be talented? Yes. Is there a particular talent that you wish you had that you feel you may never obtain? Yes, of course. I want to be. I want to be good at uh, an instrument, and that will never happen. I, I'm not coordinated enough, uh, and I'm not willing to put in the practice. More, more so that. Uh, if you could change one thing about yourself, would you? Yes. Probably more than one thing, but they'd be lots of little things. Uh, do you have a particular personal achievement you're extremely proud of? Yes, I do. I'm number 718 on the Twitch leaderboard of all-time earners. Woo! Well, maybe not all-time. <laughs> For a chunk. Uh, <laughs> if you knew that when you died, you were going to come back to life after 10 minutes, would you volunteer to die for science? Yes, I would. Absolutely. Um, if you knew that when you died, you'd come back to life as a mythical creature of your choosing, would you give your current life up? Current. So they mean right now. That's too big of a question. Because I, if I said yes, that means I could come back as a dragon. And we all know dragons can take human form whenever the fuck they please. So, yes. Uh, JLC gifting a sub to Jimmy the Smith. Hey, Elder Seeker. Do you feel like you're you're destined for greatness? No, I hate the word destiny. I'm not destined or fated or anything like that to do anything. I work for this shit and I earn it. Sometimes I get lucky as well. <laughs> Uh, are you luck? Are you currently living in your dream home? <laughs> I just bought it. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, any home that I own is my dream home. So yes. Uh, are you envious? I don't. I don't care about homes. I really don't. And I notice that. Some people care a little bit more than I do because I'm like, hey, we got a roof over our heads, we got a bathroom, we got a kitchen, we're all good. Like, shouldn't we have more room? Like, oh, should we? Yeah, it's two adults and two dogs. I'm like, oh, I thought, okay. <laughs> doesn't it feel cramped to you? It's like, cramp doesn't bother me. I lived in a shoebox uh, apartment. I lived in a fucking uh, efficiency apartment for quite a few years and it never bothered me. Uh, are you envious of what other people have? Sure. Totally. Two dogs, you lose... Yes, uh, oblivious to me. Millie passed away. She was she was old. She made it to the average age for a pug, which was 13. But she, she started losing all the feeling. Like, she, her back half was gone, like, feeling-wise. And then her front half started to go. And she wasn't eating and stuff, so... Yep, it was sad. Um, would you consider yourself to be a jealous person? No, I would not. Do I get jealous and envious? You bet. Am I a jealous person? Yeah. Speaking of that, anyone want to fuck my wife? Uh, <laughs> Oi, the brave. Thank you for 54 months. 86 days till see Ramadan. 
Uh, do you typically treasure friendships over personal possessions? Yes. Common bonus answer. Okay. Um, stop asking me that. <laughs> do you feel like you're loved in life? Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, do you feel like you've experienced the lowest depth of misery that you will, that you ever will in life? Now, this is a gambling thing. Do I feel like I've been the most miserable that I will ever be? Yeah, the rest of my life looks pretty good. I'm pretty set. I got a retirement fund. I got all that shit going, so. Yeah. Are you currently pursuing your dream job? No. <laughs> I'm currently in it. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Crurious Crustacean, thank you for the gifting the sub to Dark Nace. Hail, Berserker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, JLC, thank you for the bits with the 718. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? No, I'm perfect. Yes, of course I'm flawed. Uh, would you consider yourself to be adventurous? Yes. Do you have a regret that still... Uh, do you have a regret that eats at you inside? I, everybody has regrets, but that eats at you. That's the words they use. That eats at you inside. Uh, no. I'd say no. Uncommon bonus answer! Could you live without electricity for a year? Again, wording. Could I? Yep. I could. I'd hate it. Uh. Hey, Mr. Para with more I, I, uh, music to my fucking ears. Would you consider yourself to be hot-headed? Yes, of course. Is there someone in your life that causes you a great deal of anger? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Peril. This guy. Okay, that's enough, Mr. Peril. Fuck off now. Um, okay, I'm muting. I'm muting the alerts. Uh, did you, do you know how you'd prefer to die? How I'd prefer to die. Uh, yes. I know how I'd prefer to die. Not knowing. <laughs> uh, are you afraid of death? Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Do you believe in an afterlife? Nope. Do you have a personal motto? <laughs> Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> do you like to watch reruns of your favorite shows? Absolutely, I do. It's almost all I watch. Have you ever won any type of contest? Where's my golden salt? I have. Put up the golden salts. I have won a contest. Oh, you might just win another one. Three bonus points. Okay. Are you a thrill seeker? Yeah. You bet. Sure. Uh, do you sometimes play things too safe? Sure. Sometimes. You bet. Do you feel like true love is worth waiting for? Well, I don't believe in true love. I don't believe in true love. I don't believe in soulmates. But the, the essence of the question, do you believe that true love is? Yes, absolutely. I waited 13 years, or, or excuse me, I waited 12 years to find this one. Would you donate an organ to science? Of course I would. Would you donate an organ to save a stranger's life? Yes, I would. Would you donate an organ to save the life of a friend or family member? Yes, I would. Have you ever wished that you had a diff had different parents? Ever? I sure. When I was a kid, you bet. I hate you. Eh, wish you were never my parent. Eh, of course I have. 
Have you ever fantasized about having superpowers? Of course. If you could choose to be bitten by a mystical snake with magic venom that had a 50% chance to instantly kill you and a 50% chance to make you immortal, would you take the chance? Right now? No. If I was on my deathbed, maybe. Uh, do you feel like your dessert? Do you feel like you deserve your best friend? Yep. Do you feel like your best friend deserves you? Yep. Do you ever wish you had more friends? Yeah. For sure. Do you ever wish that you had better friends? <laughs> I hope my friends aren't watching this because I'm going to say yes. What if I what if, uh, if I wish my friends were better? <laughs> How about that? Um, do you think you uh, enjoy growing up in your parents' generation? Fuck, I grow I enjoy growing up in any generation. I I'm I bring the party with me, Holmes. Also, that question would be very much different. Uh, answered if you were not a white straight male. I'm positive of it, but I can easily answer that. <laughs> um, do you think you could survive being digitally trapped inside of your phone for a week? What the fuck kind of a question is this? Do you think you could survive? I don't fucking know. No one. What the fuck? Sure. If you knew your next birthday would be your last, would you do something crazy? Fuck yeah, I would. Have you ever been lost in the woods? No, I don't. I truly lost. No, I've like wandered around until I found my way out, but no, never truly lost. Would you camp alone in the woods with no contact from the outside world for a week? Yep. I would do that. Do you hope that you'll live to be older than 100? You bet, man. It didn't say, I like, no stipulations on that. I'd love to live over 100. I know a few 100-year-olds that are pretty lucid. Like, they're pretty much 100% still there. If you could go back in time, would you? Again, white straight male, you betcha. Um, if you could change one thing about your past, would you? Hmm. Again, they don't say anything about, uh... They don't say anything about it changing, like, who you are in the future. Like, if I if I went back and changed something about my past, I would be a different person, right? I mean, how shitty would it be? Is like, if you could go back and change one thing about your past, would you? Like, nah. You mean you wouldn't go back and, like, tell your dad not to take it to, to, to not, you know... Ride his motorcycle, like, wait 10 minutes to, to ride his motorcycle home? How shitty would I be? Uh, sure then. If that's the case, you know, I'd... I'd give up my house. And all the inheritance, I guess, if I had to. Get my dad back, I suppose. Um, <laughs> easy E with the two months. Thank you very much, Johnny Scar with eighty one. How's my Dorito, sugar dad? I had a U the UPS called me, and they were like, "Hey, what's in this pack?" And I was like, "It's Doritos and an ashtray." That was supposed to be a surprise. Sorry. Um, and they were like, "Is that all that's in there?" It's a big box. I'm like. Do you know how big party size bags of Doritos are? They're pretty fucking big. 
And if you pack them in too tight, they're just going to fucking crunch each other to death. Like, oh, okay. How much are they worth? I don't know, 40 bucks? All right, we'll send it on its way. You should have done that anyway! But yeah, it's on its way. Uh, if you could somehow alter the future, would you? I'm altering the future right now as we speak. Everything I say and do is altering the future. Uh, would you give up the use of a cell phone forever for one million dollars? Nope. Wait, was that an ultimate bonus, Andrew? Is that what it said? You can never use a cell phone again. I am tied to that fucking thing. Uh, has anyone ever, uh, anyone that you've trusted ever betrayed you? Sure. Have you ever betrayed someone that trusted you? Yes, I have. Not, not super bad things, but yeah. Have you ever kept a diary? I suppose, like, in, when it was required, like, to journal in second or third grade? Sure. Have you ever read someone else's diary? Actually, no. If you lost your taste buds, would you start eating only healthy kinds of feud? Feud? If you lost your taste buds, would you start eating only healthy kinds of food? Yeah, I would. Uh, oblivious to me, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I have to, I have to, I have to help you. You, the master of, of the stupid stupid stuff. stuff. Oblivious to me, gifting out subs to Nixia, North Metal, uh, Celis, Tessa One, O Malice, Sigmata, Doctor Guess, Yaxi, Yaxel One, uh, Myrthos, Blood Sausage. Hey, Oberseeker. Uh, you never read the Diary of Frank? No, I never did. I never did. I saw the play. Uh, if you could make twice as much money as you do right now, performing as a clown in the circus, would you do it? Oh. No. I wouldn't. If you had the power to instantly remove someone's clothes once per day, would you ever use it? Yes, I would. Uh, I'd use it on myself every day. Boop. Uh, have you ever played Truth or Dare? Yes. Uh, have you ever wished you were born with a different name? Ever? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a meme connoisseur? Not a connoisseur, no. Uh, have you ever feared you might become a viral meme? Yes. Actually, that face was going going on its way to a little bit viral, but it never made it. It was close. Among my circle of friends, it got passed around. Um, if aliens were trying to abduct you, would you willingly go with them? Man, fuck no, dude. Too many, too many questions. Too many variables there with that, the way that question was phrased. Uh, if you could erase someone's memory for 24 hours, would you do it? Again, someone. I'd erase my memory for 24 hours. You bet. Have you ever had to choose between a friend and a family member? <laughs> for dodgeball? Kickball? Like, sure. For, for family softball or something? You bet. Um, have you ever wanted to live underwater? Yes, but not in pod six. Because pod six is jerks. Have you ever wanted to live high up in the mountains? Yes, I do live high up in the mountains, sort of. Would you ever like to live surrounded by snow? Done that too. If you could actually transform a pig into... A pig with wings, would you do it? Fuck yeah, who wouldn't? If someone bought you a lottery ticket and you hit the jackpot, would you split it 50 50 with them? Bought you a lottery ticket and you hit the jackpot, would you split it 50 50 with them? I, hey, it's a gift. You give that gift to me. Would I split it with them 50 50? Nah. Uh, do you ever wish you could swap bodies with someone else? 
Yes. Uh, do you ever fear that? Dude, if I gave someone a winning lottery ticket and they said, you bought it, man. You want to split it 50-50? I would say, hell no. That was a gift. Now I'm the best gift giver of all time. You're welcome. Um, do you ever fear that you might suddenly develop Alzheimer's and instantly lose your memory? Yes, I do fear that. So then they just give you 50%. Uh, well, that's the thing. That would be crazy if I only had to ask you one question please to get through the quiz. Anywho, moving on. Do you ever fear that you might say, oh, just some, oh my God. Fucking asshole. Sorry, just fucking with you. Couldn't help myself. If you started hearing a voice in your head proclaiming it was a voice of God and you had to build an ark, would you do it? No. Landmine question. Landmine question. Kaboom! What? Kasplurge. Kaplowski. Quick. Do you find Gobby McGobble Nuts attractive? No. Erm. Um, uh. Are you sure? Well, this is awkward. Because you just hit the landmine! Kablow! All your points are now gone. Hope you like starting over, loser. Teach you to reject Gobby McGobble Nuts. Hello, Gobby McGobble Nuts speaking. How can I help? Oh, uh, hello, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir, I was not aware of that. Yes, sir, I need. I read you loud and clear. Won't happen again, sir. Good. Gobby promises. Well, apparently, I don't have the authority to move your points, but my boss does have the ability to remove my job position, so I guess I'll just let this one slide for now, and uh, we'll continue on the show and pretend this never happened. Anywho. Oh, my God. Are we not done yet? If you had the power to instantly hypnotize, hypnotize people, would you ever use this power for evil? Evil? What's evil? I'm going to say no. Oh, shit. I said yes. Damn it. Oh, well. I would say no, though. Uh, if you could walk through walls, would you use your power to spy on others? Fuck yeah. Uh, if you were accused of a crime that your parents committed, would you turn them in? If you were accused of a crime that your parents committed, would you turn them in? Mm, yeah. I'm not paying for anybody else's bullshit. Parents included. Uh, if you woke up in a random person's bed and they were still asleep, would you attempt to sneak out? If you woke up in a random person's bed and they were still asleep, Uh, if you can move three times as quickly walking backwards as you could walking forwards, would you walk backwards from now on? Yes, totally. Uh, could you ignore the person in lo you love the most for an entire year if it meant that it would lead to your wildest dreams coming true? No. I will not hurt others to make myself better. Uh, if your pet could talk to you, but everyone would think you were crazy, would you still talk to them? Fuck yes! I do that anyways! Doesn't everybody talk to their pets? Uh, do you ever neglect important priorities in your life? Sure. If you had to land a plane in an emergency situation, you would manage to accomplish the task. I do. I'm pretty good under pressure. If you could shapeshift into an octopus at will, would you? Fuck yes! If you could ignore Katie for one year and make, make her wildest dream come true, would you? Yes, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I, we can, I can tell her about it first, I hope. I mean, still, yes. But, like, I would want to say something. Um, do you believe that happiness can be bought? Fuck yeah, it can. If you knew that you could commit any crime without being caught, would you live the life of a criminal? Would I live the life of a criminal? No. Would I commit some some crimes? 
You bet. If you found the Fountain of Youth, would you attempt to profit from it? Man, fuck yeah, I would. If snakes were actually loose on planes every time you flew, would you ever fly again? Yes, I love snakes. Common ultra bonus answer. Um, well, about, okay, there it is. Wrap things up. Christ. We provide excellent answers now. Now it's time now to be a point total. Let's see here. Add this number here. Subtract. Uh, he's not even going to tell me, is he? Multiply this thingy over here. Divide whatever the symbol is. Throw in a shoe. And your point total is? I fucking knew it. Gobby McGobble Nuts. Ah, hello, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Just, just go. Just go. So apparently your point total is... Wow. Congrats. Shut. Just fucking tell me. Okay, 446. If you guys want to play this game for a buck 19 on your own, beat that. Certainly a high score. Oh, that's interesting you say that because my score is... Shut it, Granny! Oh, okay then. <laughs> Granny Grape Shaft. Uh, we'll have our kids back in the show. Okay. What the fuck, dude? Come on. Dude. Secret word for you. Your secret word is what? Pleasant. Well, that's nice. Okay. Okay. I guess I, that's it. There we go. We did it. Your result has been based on many different factors and may vary with each playthrough depending on your answers. Don't forget to leave your point total in the comments so you can be entered in for a chance to win the competition or get recognition for your efforts as well as some pretty neat future awards at, in the works. Hope enjoy your experience. Take, okay. Okay. 